Well, Lee, it's a top of the table clash today, and thankfully Falkirk have come out on top. Yeah, um, they're a decent side. They are a decent side, but I thought we coped with all the all their strengths. We nullified them uh, to limited chances, and I thought we created a hell of a lot of chances today. Their goal has probably been man of the match for me. Um, he's, he's pulled off some amount of really, really good saves. Um, but no, we're, we're doing the right things. Uh, our work rate was really good. Our fitness levels were great right to the final whistle. Um, and we were unlucky not to be a couple more on the score sheet. I have to give uh, Cove some credit. I thought the first 15, 20 minutes in particular, they, they hit us like a, a whirlwind. But the question then was, could they maintain that tempo all game? Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, they probably started better than us. Um, they created a couple of chances, albeit... I don't think PJ had a save to make the full game, um, but no, we, we we soaked up that pressure. And I think we we uh, created enough chances ourselves, um, and we started getting a foothold in the game. Mo Gomez getting on the ball, um, Blair Olsen really um, taking the game to them um, and creating enough chances for himself and taking a, a hold of the game with a shrug of the neck, which was great for to see uh, Blair Olsen doing that today. Um, and I thought the two two boys up front were different class held the ball, they gave us a real focal point Salmon held the ball in for Anton to come round the front, you could go through the full team I was delighted the way the boys reacted to that obviously you say the first 10-15 minutes um, and I thought we were, uh, thoroughly deserved our win Second half Lee, I thought we were, with all due respect to Cove, we were the more dominant team and controlling it a lot more, what would you put that down to? It looked like a couple of little tactical tweaks as well um, no, I just thought we had to relax in the ball a wee bit more and play instead of just going long. That's not, that's not what kind of team we are. Um, we like to play football, we like to play through the thirds. And I thought we'd done that and Cal Morrison creating things in. He just, he harries uh, defenders. He harries them into that mistake, gets on the end of things. And I thought for the goal, the two of them done great. Uh, Anton, obviously that'd be quick bit of feet, plays a ball in a great area and a great finish for the wee man and he's, and he's in form just now. He's in fire, he's, he's signed his new contract extension and he really deserves it. Um, and you can see in his plays really enjoying his football. And from that point, getting that goal early in the half, we, we never really looked back. I mean, a fair play to Cove the last kind of five minutes, he threw bodies forward, but I thought we coped very well. Yeah, I think from the goal, there's always that kind of hesitation you maybe get. That, that's when you're most vulnerable um, when you score a goal. But no, I thought the experience really showed today. Uh, you had Paul Dixon, um, Gary Miller. Uh, Sean Kelly, Blair Olsen, Mo Gomez, all experienced campaigners um, who took the game with the scruff of the neck and I think that showed and it gave the, the younger ones a bit of freedom to go and play um, and I think it showed um, that we created enough chances to go and win the game 2-3. And, and that's the thing, ultimately unlucky perhaps not to, to score more today because two good saves by the goalkeeper and by my count twice off the woodwork as well. Yeah, exactly. If you're being critical, we could be uh, more uh, clinical in that final third. Um, but no, credit to the boys, they fought, fought hard right to the final whistle um, and like you say, their goalkeeper's not really too much to do, to be honest um, because they are a good side and they've been scoring goals, they've got threats up there, they've got McAllister uh, young boy up front as well uh, I can't remember his name now <laughs> Mitch Meganson, who I've actually played with, believe it or not um, so they're a real threat, they're a real threat going forward so no, I thought credit to the boys at the back, they, they dealt with that threat um, and I thought we deserved the win. I'm really pleased with how the boys um, applied themselves. I have to say, I don't think I've seen you enjoy celebrating a victory as much as that one at all in your Falkirk tenure. Yeah, I just thought it was a lot going into the game. Um, obviously, they're top of the league um, and they've had a great start to the season. Um, there was a lot riding in that game today, um, but we just we go on. It's another three points in the bag and it is what it is. One loser draw, you shake hands and I didn't see the manager at the end of the game, which was disappointing from my point of view. Um, whatever happens in the game, it's done. Um, you shake hands but it is what it is and I thought we came away for that game and we looked look to Tuesday now And that's the thing, it's a, it's a busy week, a big week as well of course we know it's going to be uh, you know, sort of all eyes on Rangers next week but important of course that the guys stay focused on the game before then Yeah, Rangers hasn't come in at their heads at all um, we've said that to the boys, it's league campaign we've, we've dealt with um, the situation today, the game today we've got the three points, we move on now we look at Dumbarton now, a difficult fixture away it'll not be uh, the same game as it was uh, a few weeks ago um, but we, we go in with a game plan and we look to win that game obviously well, Lee, Congratulations on the win today and as always thanks for your time